Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Let's see who's joining us this morning. <clears throat> oh, we've got lots of people joining us. Let's wait for everyone to join in. Let's get, let's give everyone a little bit of time to find a comfortable seat, somewhere to sit. Good morning, Rocco and Jack. Jax, got a little special announcement for you very soon, Jax. I know it's a special day for you today. Let's see, who do we have today on YouTube? I'm sure we've got Romy watching. Good morning, Romy. I'm sure we've got Noah watching. Good morning, Noah. Morning, my love. Good morning, Tommy. Good morning, Emmanuel and Andrew. Hi, Josie. You're watching us this morning. Good morning, Sebastian. Good morning, Alex. You're a superstar. Every day you're watching. And I can't wait for you to join in with the phonics today. Good morning, Gabriel. Good morning, Frankie Rain, Aria, superstars. Good morning, Saif. I hope I said that correctly. Good morning, Alexandra. Good morning, Samantha. Superstars all watching. I think I've got Leo and Jamie watching. Good morning, Leo and Jamie. Absolute superstars watching every day. We'll say a few more good mornings and then we'll begin. Good morning. Ah, Zoe and Faith Joy, you're watching. Well done. Okay, so we're going to start with our first book today. I think we've got everybody watching. I might have um, Romy and Otto. So hello, Romy and Otto, if you're watching. Hello, Ren, if you're watching. I wonder if Roxy and Francis are watching, maybe. Hello, if you're watching. Right, let's get started. We've got everybody here. We've got lots of people here this morning. Buenos dias, Leo. Fantastic practicing your Spanish. I can't wait for our... Um, our oh, Spanish lesson on Friday. Hi Zoe and Faith Joy's mummy. You've got them at home today. Okay, so we're gonna start with our first book and our first book today is Mad About Mini Beasts. Are you mad about mini beasts? Remember we met, we read Mad About Dinosaurs. That was a really cool one. And um, maybe next time we can read Rumble in the Jungle. So this is Mad About Mini Beasts. At the bottom of your garden, you might just hear a sound, a chirrup from the treetops or a scuttle on the ground. If you step a little closer, maybe you can see a ladybird, a dragonfly, a beetle or a bee. The sun is in the sky and it's a lovely summer's day. The mini beasts have seen you and they want to come and play. Hi, Dobri, Zach. And Sien, is it? The snail, can we see the snail? Yeah. We're famous for slithering slowly, but wouldn't you also be slow if you had to carry your house on your back wherever you wanted to go? Slug, we're sticky and we're slimy and we haven't any bones. So we hang it out under flower pots and shelter under stones. I'm just gonna ask my mama for a favor. Mama, ma, me, me ayudas a arreglar las ventanas que hoy está haciendo sol y ayer no está haciendo sol. So you want me to put them out? Yes, please, vaya por ahí. Sorry, just that there's a bit of glare and it's not gonna help us with our phonics lesson later. So ese va para arriba y el otro también un poquito. Gracias, mama. Ah, Is perfecto. Sí, one, I wiggle and wriggle down into my hole. And then when I want something scrummy, I munch a few mouthfuls of marvelous mud. Do try some, it's really quite yummy. Oh, I'm not sure I want to try any mud. Spider. I love to wake up in the morning when my web is all covered with dew. It's such a fine sight when it glitters so bright. Don't you think it's beautiful too? <gasps> Don't you think it's beautiful, her web? Fly, my eyes are big and orange and my body's black and fuzzy and I fly around your house all day just being very buzzy. Buzz, show me how you buzz. 
buzz like a fly, buzz. Oh, the beetle, look at that big beetle, it's a beautiful beetle. We've got these two feelers on top of our heads, which wiggle and help us to see. And we scuttle around without making a sound. Can you scuttle as quickly as me? Can you scuttle? Maybe later you can practice your scuttling. And if any of my year fives are watching, I wonder if you can tell me what kind of poems these are, because we learned about these. Earwig. <clears throat> I like to feed on tasty plants and trees that have gone rotten. But the weirdest thing about me is these pinches on my bottom. <gasps> Can you see the pictures on his bottom? <laughs> that is funny. Good morning, Maria. Stick insect. I'd rather not be eaten, so I've got this brilliant trick. I cling to my leaves and branches and pretend that I'm a stick. Can you see the stick insect? He's very hard to see because he looks like a stick. <gasps> there he is. Well done. You saw him. Ant. Oh, I like ants. We ants like to work as an army, which means that we do things together. Just watch how we carry these leaves to our nest. You must admit that's pretty clever. Pitter patter, pitter patter. And can you see them all carrying their leaves? Fantastic. Caterpillar. I munch on the leaves and oh, I love caterpillars. There's something about caterpillars that I find really magical. I munch on the leaves in the garden, then slowly I spin my cocoon, but now I must sleep as I'm going to be a beautiful butterfly soon. And look, that's what he's going to turn into, a beautiful butterfly. Morning Dylan and Skylar. Ladybird. How many spots has a ladybird got? Look at my back and you'll see. I know what I've got. Well, I've got quite a lot. Why don't you count them with me? <gasps> Should we count them? I love this. This is an opportunity for counting. Are you ready? We're going to count his spots. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many spots has he got? Six. Well done. Fantastic. He's got six spots on his back. Centipede. Hello, I'm the centipede. How do you do? I'm as friendly as can be. Now, which one of my hands would you most like to shake? I've got at least 30, you see. <gasps> so not always does the centipede have a hundred legs. Sometimes he's got at least 30. I wonder if that's true. Maybe you can look that up. Buzz, buzz. Who do we have here? It's the bee. There's nothing more brilliant than being a bee. You may think that it sounds a bit funny, but you'd shout hooray if you lived every day in a hive full of heavenly honey. <gasps> Put your hand up if you like honey. <gasps> I love honey. And honey and lemon is very good for you if you're feeling a little bit poorly. The dragonfly. Who's ever seen a dragonfly before? They're absolutely beautiful. My wings are like shimmering rainbows and my body's a dazzling green. Of all the animals here in this pond, surely I must be the queen. Do you think she's the queen? Maybe. Oh, grasshopper. And if you've been reading James and the Giant Peach with us, you would have seen an big grasshopper. We grasshoppers do enjoy jumping as our legs are incredibly strong and when we're not jumping we rub them together to make the most beautiful song. Chirp, 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 chirp. And if you go to a field and there's grasshoppers and you listen very carefully you can hear their song. Ah and here we have all of them together. Did you like those mini beasts? What a lot there are. Flying, crawling, slithering, and jumping oh so far. Some live by the water, and some live in the air. Some like living underground and finding food down there. But now let's leave the garden. We can come another time. Which beast was your favourite one? I bet you can guess mine. I, best, I bet you can't guess mine, I think it says. 
but I told you which one was mine. And can you see all those beautiful mini beasts? And maybe today when we're finished, you can use different materials, maybe not just, um, you can maybe use materials from the kitchen um, with your mummies and daddies to make your own mini beast. Are we ready to close the book? That was the end, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> And that was mad about a mini beasts. Okay, and we've got a couple of shout outs this morning. Um, and we've got a birthday today. And I want to say happy birthday to Jax. And you are three today. Can everyone show me three for Jax? And we're going to say happy birthday, Jax. I hope you're having a super duper day. Okay, so we are going to move on to a book that is 20 years old. It's in my house and it's very, very old. It's nearly as old as I am. Um, I'm not 20 years old, I'm older than 20. And my mum, who is absolutely amazing, has made magnets for to retell the story. So while, we're re while I'm reading this story, I'm going to show you some of those magnets. And at the end of the story, I want you to be able to tell me all the things that he could hear all the things that Papa Bear, um, I think is his name, could hear, okay? Are you ready for this story? This is a magical story and I love this story. It is called Peace at Last. And this is a very old version of it. <clears throat> and it's by Jill Murphy. The hour was late. What time of the day is it? Night time. Mr. Ah, oh, his name is Mr. Bear. Can you see Mr. Bear? Mr. Bear was tired. Mrs. Bear was tired. And Baby Bear was tired. So they all went to bed. Ah, oh, that's lovely, um, Finley. Mrs. Bear fell asleep. Mr. Bear didn't. <gasps> Mr. Bear can't sleep. Mrs. Bear began to snore. <sniffs> Went Mrs. Bear. Snore, snore, snore. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in Baby Bear's room. So there we've got Mr. Bear. And he's, he can't sleep, so he's going to Baby Bear's room. Baby Bear was not asleep either. He was lying in bed pretending to be an aeroplane. Meow, went Baby Bear. Meow, meow, meow. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't sleep. Stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the living room. Oh, poor Mr. Bear. Tick tock, tick tock, went the living room clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. What's he going to say, everybody? I can't stand this. So he went off to sleep in the kitchen. And there you've got the clock. Can you see the clock? That goes tick tock, tick tock. Drip, 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 drip. Went the leaky kitchen tap. Got the tap there. Hmm. Went the refrigerator. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. Are we ready all together? I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the garden. Well, you would not believe what noises there are in the garden at night. Do it do, do it do, went the owl. Snuffle, 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 went the, kit, the hedgehog. Meow, sang the cats on the wall. Let's have a look. Have we got a picture? <gasps> yes, we do have a picture. And those are all the things in the garden. Can you see them? And what is he going to say? Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't 
stand this. So he went off to sleep in the car. It was cold in the car and uncomfortable, but Mr. Bear was so tired that he didn't notice. He was just falling asleep when all the birds started to sing and the sun peeked in at the window. Tweet, 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 tweet. Went the birds. Shine, shine, went the sun. Oh no, said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. So he got up and went back into the house. Let's see, what can we see from the garden? It's morning time now. In the house, Baby Bear was fast asleep and Mrs. Bear had turned over and wasn't snoring anymore. Mr. Bear got into bed and closed his eyes. <sighs> Peace at last, he said to himself. And there he is saying, peace at last. Is it going to be peace at last? <coughs> when the alarm clock, <coughs> Mrs. Bear sat up and rubbed her eyes. Oh, good morning, dear, she said. Did you sleep well? Not very well, my dear, yawned Mr. Bear. Never mind. Never mind, said Mrs. Bear. I'll bring you a nice cup of tea. And she did. Did he get any peace? Are we ready? One, two, three. <gasps> and that was peace at last. So what kind of sounds, what sounds did Mr. Bear hear? Let's see if we can identify all the sounds that Mr. Bear heard. Let's go through all the sounds that he hears. So first, he can't sleep because Mrs. Bear is what's she doing? Snoring. <coughs> Show me your snore. <coughs> and then he goes to Baby Bear's room, but he still can't sleep because what is Baby Bear doing? What's Baby Bear doing? He's pretending to be an aeroplane and he's saying, meow, meow. Well done. So then he goes to the living room. But in the living room, what does he hear in the living room? Who can tell me? The clock, and it goes tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. <gasps> Poor Mr. Bear. So then he goes to the kitchen. What does he hear in the kitchen? Yes. Drip, 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 drip. He hears the tap, the tap. And there's something else in the kitchen. Probably what we all keep going inside to look at. The fridge, and the fridge goes mm. So then Mr. Bear goes out to the garden. What does he hear in the garden? Who can tell me, what does he hear in the garden? Three things he hears in the garden. He hears do it, do the owl. He hears meow, meow, the cats. And he hears snuffle, 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 snuffle. He hears the hedgehog. So many sounds in the garden. So then he goes to sleep in the car. And who, who comes out? The sun and the birds. Tweet, 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 tweet. So then he goes to bed with Mrs. Bear. And he says, what does he say? He says, peace at last. But then and he has everyone rushing into his room, but at least Mrs. Bear brings him a nice cup of tea. Poor Mr. Bear. I hope he can get some better sleep tomorrow. Okay, so we are going to do our good morning for today. So we've done it in so many different languages that I am struggling to think of more, but there are so, so, so many languages. Um, in the world. So we've done it in Spanish, we've done it in Italian, we've done it in French. Um, anything else? What other language could we do it in? Any ideas, anybody? Yesterday we did it in Greek and we said Kalimera. Any ideas for any other languages? 
I can't remember um, good morning in Polish, but I can remember hello and it's Czech. So should we say good morning in Polish and let's all say Czech, Miss Lopez. Czech, everybody. Fantastic. We're going to move on to our final book for today and it's called Matilda's Cat. And it's by Emily Gravitz. She's a great author. Matilda's cat. Matilda's cat likes playing with wool. Playing with, no, she's crossed that out. Boxes. Oh, she's crossed that out. And riding bikes. Does the cat look like he likes it at all? Matilda's cat likes tea parties, funky hats, and fighting foes. Ah, dien dobre. Yes, of course. I'll do that after the story. I knew that. Matilda's cat likes drawing. Does Matilda's like cat, um, cat like drawing or is it... Matilda that likes drawing, I wonder. Climbing trees. Matilda's cat does not like playing with wool, boxes, riding bikes, tea parties, funky hats, fighting for foes, drawing, climbing trees, or bedtime stories. He's not impressed by any of that. Matilda's cat likes Matilda. Ah, uh, he loves Matilda. The end. Are you ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Super. And we've just had a very lovely viewer help me. And that is exactly, it's Jen Dobre, isn't it? Um, and now I know how to say good morning in Polish. We're going to have a go. My turn, your turn. Jen Dobre. Can you say Jen Dobre? Jen Dobre, everybody. Fantastic. Thank you so much to um, Zien, Jen and Zach's mummy who helped me with that. Okay, so who's ready for some phonics? Yesterday we did some super phonics with Pigeon and today we're going to do a little bit more. But before we do that, just in case people want to go off and do a little task, I'm going to remind you of the books we read today. So today we read Mad About Mini Beasts and maybe you can have a go at making a mini beast at um, home. If you're in year one or two, you might want to have a go at making up one of your own rhymes for a mini beast, okay? You might want to make up your own poem and it doesn't have to rhyme. As long as you use some adjectives, it doesn't have to rhyme. So year one and two, you can have a go at that. Peace at last. We read peace at last and you might want to do some drawings just like my mummy's done of all the things that Mr. Bear had to um, overcome during that terrible night of sleep, no sleep. And Matilda's cat. Matilda's cat is a lovely story, and we enjoyed that story. Okay, so, Mr. Pigeon, are you ready for phonics? Children watching, are you ready for phonics? Fantastic. Let's first do some oral blending. Are you ready? He's going to give me some words. Okay, off you go. He said he would like everybody to make sure that they are... To make sure they are... Oh, it. What's he saying? Sit. Well done. And oh, another one. D. Ow. N. D. Ow. N. Sit. Down. Superstars. What's the other word? Okay, we'll try that one. He said he wants to try and give you a two syllable word. Are you ready? Ch. I. K. E. N. Ick, chick, e, n, n. Chicken! He said chicken! He's got a friend called chicken. Are you ready for our last word, nursery? Are you ready? Ah, I love that one. He said today he can see the s, ah, n, s, ah, 
Mm. He can see the sun. Well done, fantastic. Well done, thanks, Pigeon. He said, well done, he's very proud of you. Okay, so we're gonna get on to our sounds now. So if you are in nursery and you think you're ready to go, um, you can go, but if not, you can stay and look at our sounds. Are you ready? If you're on Instagram, I'm so sorry, it's gonna be backwards, but um, I'm gonna focus on my YouTube now so that they can have a go at the sounds, but you can still have a little go and listen in, okay? And we're gonna look at our sound from yesterday. Our new sound that we learned yesterday was, everybody, and I'm gonna put it in there, and when you see it in the pile, I want you to say, there you are, shh. Right, are we ready to go through our sounds? Off we go. S, k, j, g, d, k, m, p, t, a, m, k, o, there you are! Well done for noticing. Shh. Eh. Uh. We didn't have these ones yesterday. V. W. J. X. Y. Qua. Z. Well, do you know what? I've just noticed that I did one wrong because I thought it was a J because I'm looking at it backwards. Let me look for it, see if I can find it. It's actually an I, I, I. Right, anyway, we'll do that tomorrow. Um, let's move on to our new sound for today. Our new sound for today is, are you ready? Give me a drum roll, please. Is my turn, your turn. Well done, would you like to see our sound for today? Ready? Ch, 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 I, p, chip, well done. Ch, o, p, chop, well done. Um, ch, I, u, chill, well done, that's a tricky one. Or oh, the one we had earlier. Ick, e, n, chicken, ch, ick, chick, well done. Well, I'm going to give you a tricky one. Ch, urch, ch, urch, church, well done. Um, one more. <gasps> ch, e, n, ch, e, n. Chin, well done, fantastic. Okay, so that's our sound for today and we're gonna have a go at writing it now, okay? If you have a board and pen, get your board and pen ready. Well done, Leo, fantastic, you know the word. Um, have your board and pen ready or if you have a pencil and paper, if not, you can just use your magic finger. So first, let's get our magic fingers ready. Let's get them ready for writing. Let's move our hands all around. Get our hands ready for writing. Right, magic finger and we're going to go Curl around the caterpillar, and then the same as yesterday, down the horse's head to the hooves and up over his back. Are we ready? Miss Lopez is going to write that down on her board. Get your pens ready. We're going to write ch, 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 ch. A C and a H make ch. Are you ready? Curl around the caterpillar, down the horse's head to the hooves, and up over his back and flick. Ch, ch, ch. Right, let's have a go at writing some words. We're going to have a go at writing. Chip, chip, I want you to sound it out. Well done, I can see everyone's at least having a go, even if it's with their magic fingers. Right, are we ready? Ch, I, P, chip, well done. Are you ready for the next one? Let's have a go at, <clears throat> Chin, chin, my chin. Well done. Hey, Lenora. Are we ready? All together? Ch, I, N, chin. Well done. Should we try one more? I'm trying to think of one with the ch at the end of the word. But I think that I can't really think of one. 
Should have thought of that before. No, let's try chill. And it has two L's. I'm just giving you a clue. Chill. Chill out. Are we ready all together? Ch. I. Uh. Chill. Fantastic. And if you'd like to give yourself a challenge, if you're in reception, have a go at writing a caption um, for this word, okay? Have a go at writing a caption, sorry, with that sound in it. So your whoever's looking after you will give you a caption to write. Or if you are in year one, I want you to see if you can write some sentences using those words, okay? Yeah, see if you can use some tricky words in that. Tomorrow we're gonna have a look at some tricky words. Um, <clears throat> And if you are in year two, um, you can also use that sound. But if you are in year two, I would like you to have a go at writing a poem about one of the mini beasts, okay? Um, and I think we're, that's it for today. We've had a super session today. We have done lots of reading. We have done, hi, Samantha. Um, we've done lots of reading. We did some phonics and I'm so proud of you. And our sound for today, what was our sound for today? Well done. Chin, ch -ch -ch chimney, ch -ch -ch church. So many words with ch in them. Okay, fantastic. And I'm now going to put that in my um, pile for tomorrow, for our phonics lesson tomorrow. Okay. And I want to say thank you to everyone who watched today. Any last hellos before we go? And I can't wait to see you all again tomorrow watching at 10 o'clock. And remember, tomorrow we're doing something creative. So if at home you have, um, remember, we're going to do, I'm so happy, Sally, that your children are enjoying it. I can't remember the name. I remember William. Was it William? I can't remember the little one's um, name. Um, so tomorrow, remember, if you have either kitchen roll or loo roll, so the tube that is left when you have finished it, we need two of those. You can either have kitchen, two kitchen rolls, or two loo rolls, okay? Or you can have four loo rolls, and we can turn it into two kitchen rolls, okay? Because tomorrow we're gonna make something very exciting. And the last thing you need for tomorrow, so I need some loo rolls, I'll put a picture up of this later. Um, some, maybe some masking tape or some sellotape and an adult to help you cut that, and some string if you have some, okay? Or a ribbon, anything that you can use to tie it around your neck or just to tie it tie it up, okay? And tomorrow I'll let you know what we're going to be making, okay? So join me again tomorrow for some story time, some phonics, and tomorrow an extra special thing, we're going to be creative and we're gonna make something because we're all going to be explorers for the rest of the week. Okay, I'm gonna send you lots of love, lots of positive energy. Remember, stay home, stay safe, but make sure you're getting that exercise and nice fresh air if you can. Lots of love, everybody. Good morning and bye.